Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. Another tower vendor reset occurred today, as it does every Tuesday, and there are a few weapons that are worth taking a look at. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So we will go ahead and kick things off with the Palindrome Hand Cannon. Now for the record, Palindrome is so good that there really aren't any bad Palindromes out there. Well, except maybe for this one. But for the most part, all the Palindromes are going to be good, and this week is a pretty strong week. So looking at this thing, we have Luck in the Chamber, Hammer Forged, or Lightweight, with Hammer Forged being the winner. We also have Relentless Tracker and Icarus, Icarus being the winner if you like to jump around with hand cannons. Over here for our sight options, we have True Sight IS, which is going to be the winner this week. Additionally, we also have Fast Draw IS and Quick Draw IS. I would definitely go with True Sight here. I would probably go with Icarus. Like I said, if you like to jump around, if not, then might as well go ahead and put on Relentless Tracker to track your enemies. And then you definitely want to run Hammer Forged and Luck in the Chamber, and you got yourself a pretty decent Crucible Palindrome. This week's Occam's Razor is going to be a pretty good Crucible Shotgun. Let's go ahead and see why. So first up, this thing comes with Rangefinder, which, let's be honest, is never a bad perk to have on a shotgun. In addition to that, we also have Rifled Barrel, which gives you even more range with the Sacrifice to Slower Reload. And then over here, we have Performance Bonus. Kills with this weapon have a chance to grant bonus reserve ammo. So you have a shotgun that works at really good range, and in addition to that, you also get some free special back when you get a kill with this weapon, or potentially. With the changes to the special ammo economy in Destiny, Performance Bonus is a very, very valuable perk. If you don't want to use that, you could go with something like Battle Runner and get a little boost to speed, but personally, I don't see the point in that. I would definitely go with Performance Bonus. Muzzle options, we have Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, and Soft Ballistics, with Accurized and Linear being the better of the two. It's one, or This one will come down to playstyle and preference. But altogether, you have a very solid Crucible Shotgun in the Occam's Razor. For all of you hand cannon fans out there, this week's Free Will 3 being sold by New Monarchy is most definitely worth taking a look at. Now normally, I would never be a fan of this archetype of hand cannon, I don't like it personally, but this week's roll is definitely worth your attention. So taking a look at it, we have Hidden Hand, this weapon gains better target acquisition. We have Hammer Forged, which gives you increased range and accuracy. You also have the option of Outlaw, precision kills with this weapon dramatically increase reload speed. Here we have high caliber rounds to stagger your enemies, and then lastly we have Snapshot, which is kind of meh. So what I would do for the Crucible is I would definitely run high caliber rounds, Hammer Forged, and Hidden Hand, and I would combine that with Sure Shot IS for its superb target acquisition. You're going to have a very, very sticky hand cannon with pretty good range that staggers your enemies and makes it harder for them to aim at you to return fire. Altogether, this is a very, very good hand cannon, and if you're a fan of hand cannons in the Crucible, I would most definitely recommend that you pick this thing up this week and at least give it a shot. Next up, we have the Continental Auto Rifle, which is the same archetype that the Dead Orbit vendor sells in the form of the Extremophile. And this week has a pretty interesting role. First off, we have Glass Half Full. The bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage. We have Braced Frame. Increased stability, reduced magazine size, which means that you're going to get to this part of the magazine quicker because your magazine's going to be smaller. And over here, we have Crowd Control, which is another perk that grants bonus damage, this time after you get kills. So what you have is two forms of bonus damage on the same weapon. So needless to say, this thing is going to kill a lot quicker than it normally would without these perks. As far as side options go, we have MD Reflex, Quick Draw IS, and OEG Rifle Scope. I would go with OEG for the increased range if you want to play this at a little bit greater distance, but for everything else, I would definitely go with Quick Draw IS. Additionally, if range is your flavor, then you can equip Rifle Barrel as opposed to Braced Frame. Just know that you're not going to have nearly the stability that you would have on this thing with Braced Frame if you go with Rifle Barrel. Altogether, very solid Crucible Auto Rifle being sold this week. For all of you Fusion Rifle fans out there, we have the Waiting Fusion Rifle over a Future War Cult that's pretty good this week. Taking a look at this thing's perks, we have Range Finder. Range is never bad. We have Perfect Balance. More stability is never bad. We have Performance Bonus. Kills with this weapon have the chance to grant bonus reserve ammo. This can potentially give you free special in the Crucible if you get a kill with this weapon. Over here we have Enhanced Battery, which means in the Crucible when you pull Special Box, you get one extra shot. It will bump this up to six. And here we have Quick Draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. These are all really, really good perks to have. And honestly, this thing is going to be good in both PvE and PvP. 
So looking at our sight options, we have Reflex, we have Red Dot ORA2, and we also have OEG. Honestly, this is just gonna come down to preference. This one will give you a little bit of a boost to aim assist. This one and this one improve handling just a little bitty bit. I mean, really, there's such minor details, it's just gonna come down to which site you prefer looking through. But altogether, like I said, this is a solid fusion rifle for both PvE and PvP. And that is going to do it for my picks for the week, guys. Drop a comment in the box below, let me know if you've picked any of these up, and if you have, let me know what you think of them. That's going to bring this video to an end, but before it does, I do want to let you guys know the Control Freak has a brand new product out that is catered to FIFA and Rocket League players. So if you're a fan of those two games, then head over to ControlFreak.com and check out the new Striker Thumbstick. You can find it on their website, probably on their homepage. They cost $14.99, and they look pretty badass. I personally don't play FIFA, nor do I play Rocket League, but I might pick these up for myself just because they look cool. And, I mean, they're low profile, they're... Pretty cool. I mean, honestly, I might pick them up. If you do head over there and pick up a pair for yourself, make sure that you use offer code PYRO, because if you do, it will save you 10% on your purchase. It will give me a little bit of a commission, so you're helping support my channel, and you're helping promote a badass company by the name of Control Freak by moving some of their products and helping spread the word about how awesome they are, man. I've used Control Freaks for years, and honestly, I can't use a controller without them. But that's going to bring this video to an end, guys. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching, and take care.